Well, the House of Representatives has asked the federal government to declare a state of emergency on security in the country. This formed part of the resolution reached following a motion on the need to investigate the circumstances surrounding the recent killings of 30 travelers by Boko Haram insurgents. The incident occurred on Sunday while several vehicles were destroyed in Aono town near Merduguri, the Bruno state capital. After lawmakers deliberated on the motion, the House also resolved to mandate its committee on army to investigate the super camp set up by the Nigerian army. Joining us in the studio to discuss this at length this evening is Lolu Elegbe. Thank you, Lolu, for staying with us. Hello. Now, do you think that the present security challenges call for declaring state of emergency as de demanded by some House of Rep members? Um, I think in certain parts of the country, yes, okay. because um, a state of emergency by definition means that um, it gives security services certain powers to do things that they wouldn't normally um, be able to do. Okay. Uh, they, I mean, obviously, the, the other side of that is that certain um, civilian rights would be suspended for the period of the state of emergency. Um, but I think things are in, in places like Zamfara and Borno and those flashpoints, I think things are that bad now that okay. if, if you ask people to, so if, um, if, if they were to replace certain um, rights with security or improved security, I think they would go for improved security. Okay. So I, 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 I agree. I don't believe it should be declared in the whole country. I just believe it should happen in the flashpoints. But, but many, many we argue this and say, you know, that the entire security architecture of the country seems to, mm. to be falling apart and it calls for uh, an emergency, a state of emergency. Do you disagree with that? No, I, because if you look at it's not, yeah, the country is battling a lot of insecurity yes. at the moment. But the reality is that it's not, the levels are not the same everywhere. So you can't use the same you can't use the same strategy for every part of the country because okay. the levels of insecurity differ um, state from state. state yeah. So you can do that on a state by state basis. What is happening in Lagos, for example, is different from what is happening in Cross River. Okay. What's happening in Cross River is different from what's happening in Kano in Borno. So you can't have the same strategy for every single one of those. Things. And so that simply means holistically we can we can combat what's going on in Maiduguri, what's going on in Sokoto with the same means to, exactly. to solve that, the current security issue. Yeah, because you have to you have to tailor it to each because these states are not small states. You have to tailor it to each individual state in um, their own peculiarities. The issues, for example, Zamfara, the things causing it. There's cattle rustling. There's poverty. There's yes. there's then one of the major issues is the mining issue, uh, the mining illegal mining and in, in Zamfara. So yes. that's Zamfara. Lagos doesn't have that problem. Sokoto doesn't have that problem. Their problems are different. So the and I think that's part of how I think the security should work. It should be tailored to each specific state rather than a one-size-fits-all approach. Okay, now the House of Reps, like some Nigerians, believe that the present <coughs> efforts to tackle insecurity could take a new dimension if mm. the current service chiefs were sacked. Mm. Do you think this will help? I honestly don't think so. I, I know a lot of, I think it's more of a feel-good factor. It would make people feel better that, okay, yes, new guys, fresh ideas, but uh, uh, I think a lack of good ideas is not the problem. Okay. Is let me let me use a non-serious example, right? If I Arsenal football club, you can tell I'm a, I'm not an Arsenal fan, but they had issues, so they fired Arsene Wenger. Yeah. He left, but the issues remained, even though they had a new, fresh, younger manager. He's left a new. They have a new manager now, and from every so they've had two managers since he left. Since then, the same issues that happened that were happening under Arsene Wenger are still happening okay. today. So it's sort of a similar thing. If you look at if you look at the last, even before President Buhari came in, if you look at the number of service chiefs that have left their positions, has it? The, the question is, has it improved things? No. Yes, there's that initial bounce from okay, new uh, new person coming in, new energy, but as long as you've not dealt with the underlying cause that energy will dissipate eventually, which is what we've seen historically. So even if you remove the service chiefs today, if we've not dealt with those underlying issues, it's not, it, might, it might improve temporarily, but on the long run, it, we're going to come back to the same place. Okay, lastly, because it seems that the, the clamor, the call for the second of the service chief, because there's no longer confidence reposed in them by the people. Yeah. And so what is the alternative to the second of the service chiefs? I think that we need to find. I think that we need to find out why exactly the bandits or the Boko Haram and all these people seem to have the upper hand. And I use that word intentionally, seem to yeah. have, because 
we don't have, well, I don't have access to the same intelligence, to the same reports yeah. that the military do, for example. But from what we, we can only comment based on what we read in the papers, based on um, certain conversations, and based on what we see in the media. And from that standpoint, it looks like the military, well, the security services generally don't seem to have a grasp on what is going on. So the first thing is to find out why that is. Is it, is it loss of morale? Is it an equipment issue? Is it a lack of intelligence? There are all sorts of issues um, that it could be. Yeah. I don't know which, it might be all those factors. We, we, we don't know. I, I suspect it is all those factors. So this is why I said, as long as those things are not dealt with, new service chiefs coming in will not solve that problem. Le Lou Elegbert, political analyst, thank you for your contributions this evening.